welcome back. Uh, oh, there it is. The I don't know. It's like the controller becomes hypersensitive in the upwards direction. Like I'm barely nudging it that way. Doesn't look like it's like on the PS4 controllers I have with stick drift. That's usually visible. Uh, can't see anything here. Oh well, uh, we're back. Uh, just a heads up. It's been a few days. I've had some work done in my house. Haven't been able to record, but now I have a, a, a kitchen again, which is nice to have. Uh, I just had some. Some doors and drawers and cupboards fixed up, as well as getting the... What would you call that in English? Like the bench area fixed up. Anyways, we were saved by the Dur Durandal, not the Demerung, which is another thing entirely. And I can't for the life of me remember what that is, but... I could have looked it up, I know, but I didn't, because what if there's like a big spoiler just a little bit down the wiki page? I don't know that. And unfortunately, this game, I haven't been able to find any sort of like uh, encyclopedia or nothing. Is this an encyclopedia? No, it sure isn't. Uh. But I do remember blowing up the Ormus base. It fell into, I guess, the Abyss. Or a black hole, or a black hole that is part of the Abyss. And we gotta make it to Old Milsha. Shit's going down there, and we wanna be part of it. Okay, we managed to fix it, of course, it's just temporary, so if it breaks again, we're gonna be stuck. I don't know if I should be running around the whole ship first, though. Just barely got away. Now we're headed right back. You bet your ass, Alan. Don't don't fucking emote. How can everyone be so tough when I'm a weak little baby? He didn't say that. I said that. Uh, if you want to go down to Milsha, talk to Matthews, not me. I understand. How long am I going to have to wait? Oh, he's he's in a hurry. Is yeah, Tony's still here. We're off to old Milsha. He's like fucking melded to that seat. It's like memory foam that has the exact shape of his ass. Down to the last minute detail. That is the exit. We don't want to exit. Do we want to run around? Let, let's have a quick little look around. See if there's anything. Uh, oh, uh, no. This was the elevator. I guess it maybe says elevator above, but between my eyesight and this resolution... I can't really read that. Uh, unfortunately. Hello. Secret side job. Right. This guy. That seems to be the exact same dialogue he, he had before. Where's uh, Sigin Momo at? Where's Chaos? Where's Cosmos? Do we have the repair station or whatever for Cosmos on board? That we had in the first game? Or not? Have we found the key to this one yet? I don't know which one this is. Nope. Well, they're not here. Maybe they're hanging out in the cafeteria. There we go. And by now my controller is back to normal. It doesn't have that sensitivity issue anymore. I don't know why that happens every time I start this game up. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it affects any other games. Perfectly honest, I don't 
have that many PS2 games on the PS2. I haven't had a PS2 for that long. Like, I've played a bunch of PS2 games uh, with the download service on PlayStation 3. Like, that's how I played Persona 3 and God Hand and fucking... I don't know, what else have I played? I, I, I played a few games. I played a few games using emulator because I just haven't been able to get like the, the I don't know uh, I haven't the point was that I don't have that many actual games for my PS2 I have like this in Yakuza and well, that's pretty much it honestly hello can I talk to Matthews there we go I just had the ship remodeled, and it got wrecked again. Well, at least that old man who joined the crew could fix it. So, wanna head for old militia now? I sure do. Okay, Tony, hit it! It's good to see you awake again, Dr. Yuriev. What? Sorry I'm late. I didn't think it would take this long. Oh, that's some goofy anime bullshit. Extremely chaotic, sir. The Federation's grown tired over the past 14 years, and many unstable factions have arisen. And Udu? 14 years ago, one of the URTVs made so is contact with it, medium scale Gainan slash Negrito effectively then, dead now? Or is he in there somewhere? Oh, huh, obstructed by two black holes. So is the abyss just those black holes then? By the way, how are you feeling? I don't know. I heard your old body was disposed of. I feel great. There's only so much lifespan extension one can achieve. But now I'm fine, thanks to my son. <laughs> that is the son who killed me. Yeah. Is this cutscene like chugging a little bit? Is this in engine or pre rendered? I wonder. The bridge of the Elsa reminds me a little bit of like the cockpit on a Blackbird. The capital looks just like it used to. Everything's exactly like it was then. Time has stopped in this world. The country of the hills of mud. The land of Mu was sacrificed. Huh. Being twice upheaved, it suddenly disappeared in one night. At last the surface gave way, and they sank, along with their countries. Is this some Bible shit? What's that? A fairy tale, a story about a land that vanished into the sea one night long ago. Sacrifice. It definitely feels like it, just looking at this place. This music feels very Xenoblade 1. Feels like that one song that's like, uh, uh, how does it go? It plays sometimes in Xenoblade 1. This, that song that just played had like a similar cadence to it. I think cadence is the right word. Not sure. Alright, let's finish this. 
This area used to be the capital of Old Milcio. The area up ahead was ground zero 14 years ago. It was filled with UTIC organization and facilities. The area that handled the most important research was... Labyrinthos. The original sewer should still be sleeping deep inside it. Yeah, I thought Labyrinthos was like a building, like a facility. Then I wasn't entirely wrong. Rubido. Your objective is to secure the original Sohar, correct? Yeah? Shion? Shion, are you alright? What? Oh, yes. Sicily and Kath. Kath? Might be there as well. And those are the, uh, the children of... Uh, Feb? Which is short for... Feb... Feb... Fuck. That woman we met in the Encephalon Dive into Cosmos in episode 1, who showed us that vision of the meadow with a single tree. L l you know, like the Buddha, like uh, that, that uh, everyone loves. Uh, f fucking Xenoblade 2, fucking Majora's Mask, it's a good image. And they were playing Christmas music. They were playing fucking da 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 or however that goes. And they were like running around and then she showed that actually shit was fucked up. And I suppose those are Cecily and Kath Kath Kate. I don't fucking know. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying really hard, guys. Did you say something? No, it's nothing. Now we can finally analyze the data in my head. Right, because he has that data that Jin put into his head 14 years ago on old Milsha when him and Chaos were piloting a robot that we did at the beginning of this game which was before the beginning of the last game in which we met Chaos who I don't think has communicated a whole lot about his path to our group that we currently have he's still very mysterious I think. I'm trying to keep track of the story. I'm I'm, I'm real trying real hard. Uh, are we ready to go? According to my data, Milsha was once a beautiful planet. Oh, or do we have to talk to Matthews again? Let's save just in case. Like this game. The last game occasionally threw, like, challenges at us after long cutscene periods that kicked my ass and killed me, and I had to redo a lot of stuff, uh, which I could somewhat mitigate because I was playing on an emulator and could do save states, uh, which is not an option I have on this game. So I want to be sure to save often. Just gonna leave without finishing things here. Wait, no. Take care of business. Where do I go? Are we gonna go in the robots? Do I perhaps go to the robot hangar? Oh. Because I thought this was... Doesn't it even say exit up there? But maybe that's just for like when we're docked. Let's uh, let's go here. Hangar. Launch? Um, launching ES. Got it.
All right, here we go. Submerged city. Ah, fuck, I gotta remember. It's not start on this game to bring up the menu. I've been playing, uh... Link's Awakening on... Well, 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 the Game Boy version on the Switch. Uh, and well, you use the start button for the menu. That's the long, the long and short of it. So I've gotten a bit used to pressing the start button to bring up the menu, which is not what you do here. You have the triangle button. One of the face buttons entirely dedicated to menu. Hmm. Some sort of uh, security system, I guess. Okay. Moderate damage. Kefuga Voli. Kefuga Valley? The, the A's and the O's look very similar in this font. I find. Uh, let's try IA. This one has lower IA. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna punch it. 1554. How much health did it have? Okay. One more punch and it's out. I'm gonna stalk. Okay, it hit the uh, Zebulon. Is that the name? Zebulon. Uh, let's try an Ether attack to. That was a critical. Uh, makes me think that it's probably better to go for the physical. They're not doing, like, tons of damage. Oh, shit, evasion. But they are, like, piddling away. Scrap iron. This way? Ah. Is that supposed to be a car? I think that's a car. Oh, someone's walking over there. Oh, that was a voice clip. Perhaps these guys are not some old security system, but modern invaders. Well, we got crit up. Might as well take a shot, I guess. Oh, critical for 700. That's ass. Let's uh, punch him. Oh, that's not great either. I'm gonna stalk. Hmm. Nice, decent damage. Might as well boost. Uh, we can keep punching until we get 100 EC. Can boost again, why not? Uh, do another stalk. We wanna let, let's boost. <laughs> let's keep boosting. 
uh, it's easy to win if your opponent doesn't get to play. Uh, special. Do we want a power kick? Do we want to? Let, let's try this. Now that doesn't do much. Ooh, critical. Let's uh, heal up. Oh, we got some uh, status condition. I'll still go for the punch here. Oh shit, it guarded. Excellent camera angle, thank you very much. Oh, L weak? I don't know what that does. Sounds like it would make me weak, but in what sense? Less attack power or less defense? I don't know. I feel like I might... Oh, fuck. I kind of messed up. It's fine. I was kind of a misinput because I was like, oh right, it's not, it's not the cross X whatever button to attack, and then I was like pressing X, uh, pressing circle to go back, but that's not how it is because this is an older game. It's circle to confirm. I see. Huh. What do you know? Okay, I guess we stalk and we blast. So we play the <laughs> mech fights the way we've been playing all the other fights. Uh, which way is progress, I wonder? Let me uh, slide over here. Ah, oh, we got a... We can check. Maybe we'll like... Maybe we can like right before the end of the game just... Run around and try and hit as many... No. As many of these doors as we can. Maybe. I don't know. So yeah, these are definitely cars. That's some sort of big old military vehicle, I guess. Maybe. Hello. Okay. Oh, they got one of those guys with them. Uh, well, let's stock up. Nice. Huh. Nah. Fucking easy, dude. Let's uh, power kick. Oh shit. I guess let's power kick one of these. See what it do. That's good damage. <laughs> Man, th these evasions are keeping us very safe. Uh, also speaking of keeping us safe, we do want to medica frequently. Hmm. Uh, 
Stock. How about we do one stock here as well? And then we try the. Uh, I might as well hit a Medica here. And then we do. Oh, that has the thunder element. Maybe that's why it's doing so much damage to these big robot guys. Then again, that did very good damage as well, but I haven't seen what the big move does to the small robots. Wonder if I can do anything with all this scrap iron. Didn't the like there's we we have like uh what would you call it? Like a workshop in the basement of the Elsa? Basement. Do you have a the lower decks? I think we have. I don't know. Right, I forgot. I'll, I'll check that later. I did have a thing I wanted to check in the menu. Hmm. Well, we heal a bit by stalking. Nice. And then we hit this guy with a tornado fist. Wonder if... Well, let's try the rain arrow. And... That voice actor went hard. Uh, I I can appreciate that. That's yeah, fine. Seventy six. I've heard that's a very bad Fallout game. I don't know. I tried playing Fallout. I guess. New Vegas wasn't bad, but it wasn't really the kind of game I enjoy, I guess you could say. Fallout 3 just didn't seem very good to me. I don't know. I. I I don't really see the appeal. That's all. I guess I don't really see the appeal of all these first person RPGs. Like I have a whole ass um, Cyberpunk Let's Play on my channel. But if you s s watch that, you'll see me get increasingly bored the further it goes. I don't know, I don't... I feel a lot of the uh, mentality surrounding like... Um, the design of RPGs, particularly in the West. Well, like, not even RPGs, but games in general. With the, uh, like... The idea that first person is immersive is something I fundamentally disagree with. I, I feel like third person is pretty much always... Hmm, this That seems like progress. Let me double back and check the other path. I don't know, it's... Because of how first person video games work 
I don't feel like I'm in the character's place when I play first person because my vision... Oh, a quick charge, I don't even know what that does. My vision is not so limited as a screen. What did I pick up again? A charge... I don't know, I don't see it. Maybe some equipment. Right, I was gonna check as well. The whole point of that, I, I don't really like playing games in first person. Unless... Like, Metroid Prime has... Tons of little things to sort of add to the idea that you're looking out the visor of Samus Aran. A bunch of little things moving together to sort of sell that illusion. And I don't feel like most first person games go that extra bit to sell the illusion. And that makes me just feel like... I, I was curious. Can I... S if I switch the, the co-pilot... What does that actually... Let me just try that for a little bit. Wait a second, what, what did I say? Extra, Kanan. So he's an extra, he's not allowed to be in the actual party. Oh well. I just generally prefer third person games because there's a bunch of like... When you see the character, it has to be animated. When I play first-person games, I often feel like I'm like I'm a camera on I don't know, like just a stand with wheels wheeling about. I feel very disconnected from the game world when in first person, which sounds backwards, I know, but that's how I feel. Huh? I don't know what that did. I want to fight this guy. I feel like if I don't fight all the enemies I see, I won't have enough experience when it matters. Ooh. Are we pincered? A little bit. Hmm. Did we, like, uh, level up and enough that it's doing less damage, perhaps? Uh, what are these? These are... Auto intercept pods. They have 1440 HP. If I punch them, not quite enough. Hmm. Are they gonna go for the back attacks? Oh. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Okay, so break armor gives the L weak condition. That to me sounds like it's a defense debuff. Which is good to know. Yeah, it's probably the wiser decision on their part to go for the one with the back turned. And again, don't we both have our backs turned? Yeah, I think we do. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I feel like I want to turn around. If I do the rain arrow... Yeah, we turn around. Good. Okay. <laughs> went, went really hard there. Uh, they tried. Will this be enough? Mm, yeah. Uh, 
let me... No! Fuck. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep stalking. I, wa I, I wanna get my EP back. So I'm just gonna do this little bit of healing. And then I'm just gonna stalk. Oh shit! I don't even know how I did that. If you can just keep... Yeah, keep going for the Zebulon, please. I think it's about time we punched it. Nice. Scrap iron, my favorite. Oh, another segmentum address. Might as well check it out. Yep, no keep. Okay, so... We spread all of these out. Some nano repairs. Good, I guess. Oh, it's an officer. Interesting. I'm gonna start with some healing because we didn't top off. That's pretty big numbers. I was a little slow on the boost, I realized after confirming that I should have boosted. We can offset that enough. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Special tornado fist. Nice. Does that give us extra skill points? We got him on the skill turn. Do we get extra skill points for that guy? Or do we need to finish the fight on that turn? I'm not sure. Uh, we can stalk here too. Nice. Oh. We're on the crit turn. Let's go for the... Uh... Oh, right. We switch out Ziggy for Jin. So this is a long energy aura pierce. A divine arrow that attacks... A divine arrow attack that also clears status effects. That wasn't very good. Uh, though that might just be against this enemy. Special Spiral Fist. 
Oh shit, it's charging power. Uh... Oh, it intercepted, but we evaded. Oh, not quite, but... Nice. Man, maybe Jin is ass. No... He, there's probably a reason to use that, like clearing status effects, I suppose. Uh, but... I don't know. I think getting Ziggy in here. Uh, can we, like... I want to try something. Okay. So... Junior can't be... And then we switch. So the Zebulon is always going to be Momo. But we can switch around the co-pilots. Ah, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna keep it like this. Cause like... I feel like... M j just in terms of story, you know? Momo and Ziggy have much more of a connection than Momo and Chaos. And... Uh, fucking Shion and, and uh, Cosmos have a connection. So we'll j we're just gonna keep those as is. I'm gonna do the rain arrow just because there's so many enemies. That works quite well against those. Good to know. Um, we stalk. Let's boost. Tornado fist. I, th I don't know for sure that the officer is more dangerous. But it seems to me like he should be, so I'm gonna hit him first. I'm gonna take some time and... How about we stalk? Oh, another one? Another couple, oh shit. Let me clear away those bonus enemies. Uh, stalk one more. And we can get a medic tool in on the Zebulon. Then we... Oh, it's our turn again. Guess we stalk. Uh, and then we hit the Tornado Fist. Oh, they managed to get a couple of those in. We have access to Rain Arrow, so we might as well. Are we getting somewhere? Can we have a save point, perhaps? We've been going for a while. There is a save point. Oh, I feel like I'm probably gonna have to fight this enemy go first, though. This is an 088 Delphinus. I guess. 
I'm gonna stock up. Maybe actually uh, top off the Dyna before I start stocking with the Zebulon. That's not too bad. Stock once more. Stock here as well. Ooh, a critical. Luckily we can offset that with a little bit of healing. And we go for the Tornado Fist and we hope this does a lot of damage. Huh. Let me try something. Oh shit, crit up. Uh, so, I have uh, made the conclusion that this enemy heals from uh, physical attacks. That's not great. Wait. Is that on an ether attack? Let me try something. Because this is a... Oh, I'm not allowed. How about this? Yeah? Weak versus physical attacks. Is it specifically the Dino that can't hurt it? Let me just try this one more time. If that doesn't work... If I do... This... Huh? Oh, you know what? You know what? I, th I think it switches modes. I think that's it. Uh, who are we on? I think there's currently it's got this like open look. Fuck! Fuck! Is it only th the fucking normal punches that work? Actually, this is a thunder move, but this is a strike. I'm gonna... Okay. And just... Yeah, this is a fire move. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm just dumb. That would explain a lot. Uh, we hit him with another Spiral Fist. 1700. How much does one punch do? 800. It's gonna be more efficient to just punch it. I think. They're gonna toss these in with fucking normal enemies, aren't they? Luckily, 
it's it doesn't seem to be able to dish out tons of damage. Let's uh make sure we heal though. Hmm. Nah, let's just punch it. Get some extra punching in. Oh, it's charging power. That's bad. I think. Oh, it intercepts. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Now that's pretty, pretty. Mm. Oh, it's not from disaster. Yeah, so these are pretty dangerous, I think. Sonic boom, Sonic boom. I'm gonna stalk. Oh shit. The reason I stalked was to get some. Oh fuck. Oh no. This is bad. I was hoping to kill it before it got another one of those off. Oh, well, there it goes. Well, uh, at least it's something we are capable of dealing with, I feel. You know what, why did I even spend, spend that? There's a save point right here. We can just go there and get all our health and everything back. Like so. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna see you next time.